First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Paleo Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to talk about indoctrination, okay, because this world has um, been deceived and all the people in it, you know, they don't even know who they are anymore. But uh, this little kid right here, a lady's trying to explain to her that she's white, but she says that she's peach and uh, just being white or being black, you know, those are terms that was made up. You know, whiteness was uh, made up in 1691, okay, in Virginia. And I'll get into why a little bit later, but play this video. Look at this. Look at this. Is this white? We're talking about. Is, is this white? We're talking about skin color. I don't care. Is this white? We're talking about skin color. I don't care. Tell me your question. Your skin is it color white? Is white. No, it's not. This is this not is white. Not that white. That's an object. We're talking about is skin this is, color. This is the same color. You're white. This is the option. So, so what do you think you are? You think you you think what, what color are you? A peach. Bro. Stupid. Oh. Don't call me stupid. And you know, it's funny. When I was a kid, I went through the same thing because, um, you know, my aunt, even though they're, they're supposedly black, you know, she was uh, super light-skinned like Drake, even lighter than that, you know, and they was trying to tell me that they're black people. And she asked me what color she was, and I said that she was clear, you know, and I got this saying right here, four types of people tell the truth, you know, drunks, kids, and angry people, but I put four types of people, Israelites, tell the truth. You know, like I said, when I was a kid, I told them they was clear, but we all know that nobody's a color. And especially in the scriptures, you go back to one of the original tribes, you know, point blank period. But you're really supposed to um, go by the house of your fathers. Okay, this is Numbers 1 and 18. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. So why was, that's how people kept it back in the day. But now, it's about color. And why is that? It says, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their pose. Okay, so why do they start going to this whiteness? Okay, but if you look at the history of America, you know, they was living all good. They had slaves, but then they had, you know, people coming into America, immigrants. Okay, especially from Italy and especially from Scotland. And those two people right there, especially because they look white. Okay, they go back to Israelites. Okay, because after Rome fell, okay, it was a thousand years period that white people wasn't in rulership. And African Americans, Haitians, and Jamaicans, okay, they ruled over there in Europe. But they got taken down. Okay, they had, you know, a lot of kids. Okay, and they came out looking like, you know, Italians and Scottish. So when slavery started, you know what I'm saying, they brought them over here because the first slaves were from Europe. They weren't from West Africa. Look that up on your own time. Okay, and then... You know, the rest of us in West Africa, they came, we all came over here in slavery together. You know what I'm saying? We was over here doing our thing, okay, being a slave, but then you had immigrants coming in over there from them lands, okay? But they look like so-called white people, but they weren't. This is why they came up with the term white and whiteness, okay? It was to divide the people over here, okay? Because African-Americans and Italians are the same people, even though they don't look alike. That's why you do not go by color. You go by the house of your fathers. And this is why the devil today has what? Deceived the whole world and lied. Because even though you might look like a so-called white person, you're one of us, okay? You go by the pedigrees of your father. It doesn't matter what you look like because your father can have sex with a black woman, a white woman, an Asian woman, and then them kids come out looking like the mother nations, you know, like 50% of the time. And like this guy right here, this is an Israelite. He teaches the same thing we teach, but he looks like a so-called white person, but he goes back to our people, man, through the father. Okay, so that's what um I'm trying to convey in this video. But, you know, going back to this little kid, like I said, you know, only drunks, kids, and angry people tell the truth. And Israelites, I want to get this. This is uh, Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, okay, because this world is full of lies, man. It says, then be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay, that's what repentant does. Okay, it renews your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. So we got to renew our mind in this place, man. This place is a bunch of confusion. Okay, that's why Yahweh Basim you know, called America. He called it Babylon the Great. Okay, Babylon means confusion. There's nothing but confusion here, and we see it. 
Nobody knows who they are. Everybody thinks there's a color. Everybody think you can be mixed. There's no such thing as mixing. You go back to the house of your fathers, no matter what. If a Jewish person, which is an Edomite, has sex with a black woman and it came out a kid looking like Drake, that's a motherfucking Edomite, man. It's not a, okay, he's not black. He goes back to the pedigree of his fathers, man. There ain't no tainted blood and all that is made up by heathens, man. This is uh, Matthew 18 and 3, and said, Barely I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children. And that's why I wanted to get this video also, because this is a little kid. And like I said, little kids tell the truth, okay? And that's what Yahweh Hashem Shah wants us to go back to. He's renewing our mind. He said, become as little children, meaning, you know, everything that you have learned, man, get rid of it and start anew. Ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. So if you don't be converted and, you know, renew your mind, become as little children, okay? Because little children are programmable, okay? They learn what they see, what they take in. But, you know, we had to go back to little children in our mind because we have been indoctrinated so much. That's why, that's what being converted is. That's what being become as little children, man. This is uh, Matthews 9 and 17. Neither do men put new wine in old bottles, else the bottles break. Okay, that's why you see a lot of old people, especially it's hard for them to wake up. If you've ever seen The Matrix, um, they told Neo they, they usually don't go after grown-ups because it's hard for them to reacclimate to the environment, okay, because they have been indoctrinated so bad. So that's why they wake, they bring kids out The Matrix. But yeah, how about some child's going to wake up who he wakes up? It says, and the wine runner fell and the bottles perished. But they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved. So yeah, how about Shemesha basically saying it's, it's hard for an old ass person to wake up, you know, that's stuck in his ways. And if you try to tell somebody the truth in this world, they're basically programmed to say certain things. It's conspiracy theory or, you know, whatever, man. So this is Revelations uh, 20 and uh, 7. It says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosened out of his prison. And this is talking about when Rome fell. Okay, when Rome fell, the so-called white man, he wasn't in power for a thousand years. Okay, you had the Byzantine Empire, and then that fell, and then everybody else fell in Europe, and then we got brought over here in slavery. Okay, and shall go out to deceive the nation. So that was the so-called white man who was Esau Edom. That's what I'm trying to get out of this. Esau Edom, that family, okay, they start ruling again because they ruled Rome, they ruled Greece. Okay, that's where there's a lot of perversion in those um, pateraste and all that. And the same thing's going on today in America because, what, it's the same people. It's the Edomites ruling. Okay, but they went out to deceive the nations. Where are in the four corners of the earth? So they deceived the whole world. Gog and Magog to gather them together in battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So this was, this was his purpose. Esau, Edom, it was to deceive the whole world. And he has accomplished that. Okay, and one of those strongholds is whiteness. Um, this is Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except they're coming to fall away first. Our people fell away, man. And then these people start ruling. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Okay, the so-called white man who was Esau Edom. And not every so-called white person is an Edomite. Okay, like I said, you can have Israelites that look white because it goes by the house of your fathers, not by our color. It says that when the wicked shall be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, meaning like everybody out here telling the truth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. So this is what they have done, man. They they have lied to the whole world. All these lying wonders, you know, everybody doesn't know what's truth anymore. But Yahweh Bashem woke us up, right? And the truth shall make us free. This is a John 8 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, man. You know, we woke up, we know who's ruling the earth, you know, we know what family is ruling the earth. Okay, a lot of people don't like to say it, okay? We know who they are, man. It's the Edomites, okay? Now, this is why I got this picture. This is what Edomites look like, okay? It says what they look like in Genesis. Genesis 25 and 25. And when the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau, okay? This is the so-called white man's forefather, okay? This is where all so-called Edomites come from, okay? I'll get that in a minute, but this is Genesis 36 and 8. And Esau is Edom, okay? Thus dwell Esau and Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, Mount Seir. This is where so-called white people are originally from, man. You know what I'm saying? So Edomites, they went from Mount Seir, from the caves. That's your original home if you're an Edomite. It says Greece, and then they came down from the caves, Alexander and all that, right? And then Greece. They had a lot of perversion over there in Greek times. That's when the... Uh, Wickedness grew to a whole nother level. And then they went from Greece to Rome. Okay, they ruled Rome. They uh, crucified the Lord. Okay, and then what? They fell. Then you had Spain, France, Germany, Russia, Great Britain. And you have what today is the United States. 
And he was meant to rule. Esau was meant to rule. Okay, point blank period. Can't be refuted. Okay, that's why everything has to play out how it plays out. Because Yahweh Shem and Shah set this person up. This is Genesis 27. Now, when you go down, you know, we can read the blessing that he has got. You know, it says, um, And Esau said unto his father, That house but one blessing, bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. So everybody wants to understand why is the world so fucked up today is because the God of this world gave him the world, man. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he, because the so-called white man has tried to hide himself under whiteness. But his true identity is the Edomite man. That dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. The fatness of the earth. They control every aspect of everything on this earth as we speak. But we're in the last days of his uh, rulership. Okay, because this was not a forever blessing. It says, and, this, and by thy sword thou shalt live. And that's how the so-called white man rules. Look at all the military bases of America all over the world. They rule by the sword, by the threat of violence. And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. They broke that yoke from off their neck. Okay, that's why it says, a thousand years he shall be loosened out of his prison. They was loosened out of their prison. Okay, and then they enslaved the real Israelites. Okay, point blank period. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his brother has blessed him. Okay, so Esau, which is Edom. Hates Jacob, which are the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and some of our people look white because of, you know, what I said earlier. But And Esau said in his heart, the days for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob, okay? This is why the so-called white man Esau Edom hates the blacks and Latinos and Native Americans so much, even though they don't even know why, because their forefather hated us with a deep hatred, man. So their people hate us. That's why there's a ancient, you know, war going on between our people even now. I got all that to say this. Esau is the end of the world, man, you know, and after he goes down, the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up, but he has to go down, okay? This is 2nd Edward 6 and 9 for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So it was always meant for him to rule last in the second coming. Who's going to be ruling? The Edomites, okay? And Jacob is the beginning of it fall off and then Jacob will rule once he goes down, but you know, we can go to Isaiah 63. This is prophecy about the second coming. It says, God vengeance on the nations. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This is talking about the Lord, man. Yahweh, who this world called Jesus Christ. Who is this that cometh from Edom, man? And that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Who's the one that's coming to save? Okay, who this world calls Jesus Christ? Who has the power to save? The one that's called Jesus Christ. We call him Yahweh, man. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there is none with me, for I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemness is come. So, you know, a lot of white people today, oh uh, man, y'all got a y'all got a big wake up call coming, man. You know, this is Revelation nineteen. Basically what we read in Isaiah sixty three is talking about Yahweh's arrival to the earth and what he's going coming to do. And it named who he was coming to do it to, you know. But Revelations 19 and 11, the coming of Mashiach, and I saw heaven open, behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he do judge and make war. So he's coming to make war with the so-called white man that's in rulership right now. So these Edomites have a lot of stuff to pay for because not only did they enslave the children of Israel, they're sacrificing the children of Israel as we speak, kidnapping our women as we speak doing foul shit as we speak, and they're destroying the earth as we speak, and they have a lot to pay for him, right? And he was clothed with the vesture dripped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So he's coming for war, okay? He's coming to spill a lot of blood. He's coming to slay a lot of people, but that main family who he's coming to get is the Edomites, okay? Because they're the wicked, okay, that the Bible speaks of, and they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. So that's all I wanted to get today, man. I got I, I got this lesson just off of that one video of that little kid. You know, it's just a spirit. So, you know, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. And call Halal Yahweh Shemeshah, Bashem, Rakah, Kodash.